Nate. Hey, I love you, travelers. Welcome back on board Norwegian Joy, day number four, and we find ourselves at sea once again. But there is lots of fun stuff in store for today. So let's go ahead and get it started. Day number four on board the Norwegian Joy begins right about... Um... It says now. Oh, now! Let's go! Another beautiful day at sea. Bright and sunny and blue waters to look at. Ooh, it is a busy day out on the pool deck. And it looks like they're doing some kind of game down there, but I have no idea what they're doing. Looks like they're having a good time though. Let's go ahead and get today started with some delicious lunch. And the car booths here are setting the theme for today's venue. License plate tables, an old gas pump. It has to be the American Diner. And here is a look at the menu for the American Diner. Can't wait to grab a milkshake there. Now this is an additional cost restaurant. You do have to pay extra for it. It is priced a la carte and as We've seen it so far every day of our cruise. It's only been open for lunch about noon to 5 p.m. And what's cool about these car booths is that they're different actual models, makes and models. So this is the 65 Ford Mustang. If you go around to a different one, it'll have another placard on it. They also have a 68 Ford Mustang and a 72 Chevy pickup. So all these different styles here you can set it. Pretty cool. And actually we are going to be seated in the 65 Ford Mustang, which is pretty cool because my first car ever was a Ford Mustang. And not only does it tell you the make and model, it also gives you a little few paragraphs here giving you a description of it and the history. Hey, you wanna hear something cool? We're eating here with my dad and he said he had a 65 Ford Mustang and it was red just like this bad boy. This was a gift from Lee Iacocca. Well, here's to Mr. Iacocca and his failed experiment, the, the DeLorean. DeLorean. Waiting for our food, but the fun has arrived in the form of milkshakes. You guys went with chocolate. I'm making it a strawberry sandwich there in the Your, middle. Yours is the prettiest. That's why I went with it. I wanted yeah. some color there. <laughs> and our food has started to arrive with our appetizer mozzarella sticks. They're saying they look and smell good, but it's like six bucks or something. For Three right. I mean, they're sticks. big. They're, they are big. And it right. did say they were homemade. Oh, wow. Well. So Straight from Nona's kitchen. A, a little extra <laughs> a quiche for that part, you know? Okay, well, we'll see. And now the main feature. Chelsea's dad went with the fried chicken. That is crisp there. And then Chelsea went with the diner burger. Got the fries on the side there. And I went with the shrimp and grits. And my goodness, they slathered that on their diner style, didn't they? Very nice, colorful plate. Smell the sausage from here looks quite tasty. The American Diner. What more needs to be said? Okay, so this is pretty much like the cutest, funnest theme like restaurant ever. So that's reason enough to go to it, right? And the food was really good. It like there was. Were, we didn't have anything that we didn't like. No, everything was good. You said you liked your burger different than the one you had at the local. Yeah, this one's more of like a diner burger, like you know, like the juicy, like grease griddle kind of burger, like a little bit thinner. Like it's a different style, which is good. That's part of the reason why I wanted to try it. Like, are you getting something different for the free? I'm not gonna say it's like better than the one at the local, but it's like different, so I enjoyed it. When I tried some of your dad's fried chicken, uh, very good crust on it, salty, uh, but the, the meat inside, juicy, tender, really good cook on that. And then the shrimp and grits, the flavor was excellent. I mean, outstanding. And they did bring the heat, which I always appreciate uh, because they tend to tone that down on cruises. Uh, but it was a bit of oily plate, so that's something, but it wasn't anything too bad. And uh, like I said, the flavor was phenomenal. So all in all, I think our takeaway with this is similar to what we've had with the other dining so far with Norwegian. The price is probably a bit higher than we would like or think it should be, but the flavor and the, the food quality consistently. Yeah, it's been really it's there. good. It's there. I would definitely come here again and like even if you want to just like get a dessert, like yeah, just get like get a, a milkshake shake. or something and you can 
and enjoy like the diner theme and stuff like I would do that and plus everyone like all the crew members there were like really 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 nice yeah which that's also been very consistent so good to see but we're gonna hop out of this car what head down the road and keep the car theme rolling just a little bit more but in a different way you be taking first place? Duh! I would say get your motors running, but they're electric. <laughs> I'm gonna get my batteries running. Oh, there you go. Headed on the speedway. <laughs> Looking for the ocean. It's on both sides of the ship. <laughs> of course, the speedway here on the Norwegian Joy, they have it on some other Norwegian ships too, electric go-kart. So yeah, this does come at an additional cost, I believe 15 per person. Now, per pop, like per, per go. Pop. But yeah. they do have unlimited packages you can do, blah, blah, blah. Now, you, I, and your dad are going to all do this later this evening. But we're going to go ahead and have you do this run so we can get some shots because... We can't film on the speedway. We asked. They said no. No, we did hear that like you could use a uh, chest mount, like with a GoPro, but they said no filming. So maybe it depends on the ship or maybe like, you know, if you get more of a loosey-goosey like crew member or something like that. Maybe. But yeah, I'm not allowed to film, so he's going to film me doing it. And then we'll all together take a, a night ride later. Exactly. And I'm going to ride into the sunshine right now. You see they have the carts lined up over there ready to go. They even have the electric cords hanging up above where they plug them in and charge them up. Now over here they also have some double carts. So you can also sign up for that experience in case you have a little one who's not tall enough to drive on their own or whatever or you just want to ride together. You do have that option. So over here at the Speedway you see they have the kiosk and they have the different sections. So if you're staying in the Haven or you have the ultimate package which means you can go unlimited. You have a special like go around the rest of the line area otherwise it's a standby or if you made a reservation ahead of time like we did then that's where you will go they do have some height and weight restrictions listed we'll see how strict they are about those 55 inch minimum height 82 inch maximum height and 265 pounds we will see about that because i'm slightly over that so we'll see if they'll let me go or not and here are the rules and the safety information for the go-karts you have to wear a helmet at all times you need to remain in the safety harness and this is important you must wear flat closed-toed shoes you can't be wearing flip-flops or sandals if you have long hair you have to tie it up no loose articles or anything like that you have to stay with inside of the cart and be safe, all those typical terms and conditions. All right, so Chelsea's is going in the reservation line. They're having everyone scan their card to make sure they have the reservation and they're at the appropriate time. And then they are weighing people on the scale right behind that. There she goes, the whole group's going around. So that's where they just were, and then they went around the curve there, around the track, and now they're on the outside portion there. There's Chelsea. So they're gonna come around here, but they're gonna get their gear and their helmets and all that and then load into the carts there in the uh, pit area. And they do have the plexiglass walls all around, or is it just regular glass? I don't know, but so you can see on the uh, lower level here, you can see the pit area and when they come around for each of the laps and then it goes up the hill to the upper section, but there is a viewing platform up top. So let's go take a look. So right next to the Aqua Loops water slide entrance, you have this stairwell here. Now through there is where we just were for the check-in area, wraps around. So I've come up these stairs and now I'm on the top deck, the upper level, where most of the raceway is contained. And this is the viewing area for that as well. As you see they got some benches here so you can sit. And again, the glass walls all around so that you're able to get a view of the entire raceway.
like two lanes of service as this circuit's finishing up. They're having them pull in and park over in that lane. The lane that Chelsea's in is waiting, ready to go. So they come through, they flip a little switch on the back of the cart, which activates it, and then that means that you are good to go. So you start filing out one by one. Now, I believe they have these restricted for the first lap. You'll notice they're going very, very slow. But then once you've completed that, they'll turn it up and you can hit the juice and you're ready to fly. And here she comes out of the pit. It's car number two going around the bend. She's ready to rock and roll. All right, pace lap is over. Carts are now moving up to speed. Here comes Chelsea. She's coming around the turn. She's flying ahead of everyone. <laughs> Oh, a bit of a bump. Ooh, nice skid around there by number 34. He's got the drift down. Just is off and running though. The cool thing too with them having this observation deck up here and the carts being electric that, so they don't make a lot of noise is that you can stand here and kind of yell things at, at your uh, your fellow friends and family who are racing, cheer them on, give them some words of encouragement, a bit of advice, whatever you want to do. And they can actually hear you because it's not too loud from the electric uh, motors on the carts. Hey, 34 is getting a little squirrely there. He's crowding shells. He's trying to overtake her. Hey, watch it, pal, watch it. perspective than earlier. I'm in the action now. You're here at the safety video, just about to go into the gate and board our vehicles. Well, we all know how good I look with the riding sock. Let's see you with the riding sock. Oh, there is just one thing. My coconut is extra, did you, extra large. Did you get an extra large I'm sock? Like the Incredible Hulk ripping through this thing. <laughs> there you go. Not too bad. Huh. Do you have a need? The left side. A need for speed? Absolutely. Boogie -de -boogie -de -boogie, let's go racing! <laughs> Here's a look at your control, your reverse button, right pedal is the gas, left pedal is the brake, and buckle up for safety. There's our stats. But Matt said he got number nine, so I don't know if 19 was his or if, if he's just not on the board. But anyways, that was ours. Ooh! Okay, so I don't know what they put into those cars in the evening sessions, but I am telling you, like, it 100% went faster this session than it did when I went solo earlier. And obviously, I didn't go earlier, but from spectating and then driving this time, I will agree with that. Because we mentioned earlier, you start off slow, you kind of have like a pace lap, yeah. and then it gets up to speed, and we did that for four or five laps. Uh -huh. And then turbo boost. Turbo! Like, like so fast, like we were going, and we were like drifting and stuff, which was super fun. It was awesome. So you were going, and you go, like when you go around the corner, it was awesome. I don't know if they 
tuned it up because it was just us. It was just me and Chelsea and her dad. Yeah. Well, we had a private session by chance. And, and that was just luck. Like, just we signed up ahead of time and nobody else signed up for that time. And I got to go, obviously, as the as I mentioned earlier. Got in. They did weigh us all, but they were like, hey, everyone's good, so. I will say, it seems like, one, they're, like, a lot more chill in the evening. Yeah. Like, like when I did it before, it was like, okay, make sure your visor's down. Like, it, it was a lot, it seemed like a little bit more rigid with the rules. And then the evening, it wasn't like not rigid. Like, like they were still like, like they were responsible. They were responsible making sure you were safe, but it was like, you went in and out faster. And um, I, I swear it was faster. It was awesome. That was a lot of fun. Well worth the price of admission. I think this was actually one of those things where you pay extra for, you know, I've kind of been questioning that so far with Norwegian is the value there because a lot of these items are priced higher than comparatively on other cruise lines. This was a an excellent value, in my opinion. Well worth it, super fun time, and uh, definitely recommend riding at night because it is a lot cooler out here. Because it actually does get really hot, like wearing like the sock and the helmet and stuff, like, and like you're being exertive, like it does get pretty warm. So I definitely, yeah, agree. Nighttime is the best time to do it. You get to go faster apparently, or at least that was our situation. Yeah. And I don't know if you mentioned this earlier, but um, you get eight lap, or I'm sorry, you get eight minutes. Eight minutes, so eight however minutes. many laps you can make it around in that time. And we got like... About 10? 10 laps, and we saw some score card things that had 13. Yeah, you know? it so just kind of varies. It varies, but you get eight minutes of time, and... Well worth it. It was fantastic, that was awesome. The first time was super fun, that time, us doing it all together was the best. And for reference, our time was at 7 p.m., and uh, there was one other race after hours, and now they have shut it down. They have all gone home. The Speedway is closed for the evening. Let's go from one thrilling activity to another with a rousing game of mini golf. I will claw my club merger. What's it called in Thor? Molinier. Molinier. And what's yours called? Jonathan. <laughs> I don't want to hear excuses. I just want to see juggling. Well, there you go. There I go. Solid work, my friend. Okay, friends. That is going to do it for... I gotta switch it up. Oh! Okay. Day number four on board the Norwegian Joy Day at Sea. And tomorrow we'll be back, of course, on the Norwegian Joy. But we will be stopping in a brand new destination we have never been to. First of three in a row that we haven't been to, but this one, probably the one we're most excited for. Costa Rica! Let's go see some animals. We have an early morning, though. We have to get up at the crack of dawn. So we can go see all that stuff. Was that a rooster? No, it's like the rainforest sound. Like the oh. bird in the distance. So that's how you wake up in the rainforest? Not exactly. A, not a rooster crowing. Well, there like may a, be. A but the rooster monkey. would probably get eaten by something. Oh. Anyway, let's wrap this up because we got to go to bed. But we hope we will see you back tomorrow for day number five in Costa Rica and back on board the NCL Joy. As always, if you're interested in booking your own cruise, feel free to reach out via that travel agent information. You can find it in the description of this video. Completely free to you. No charge of fees cost whatsoever. So we hope we hear from you soon. Thanks for joining us today. We'll see you back tomorrow. Until then, good night and happy, happy travels. travels. That was more like Axl Rose. You're in the jungle, baby! Oh, we will be in the jungle. But we're not gonna die. Welcome.